Hey, buddies, Botanic Whiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI as Rome. I may have forgotten to save this. Let me double check. Yes, I did. I forgot to save it after the last game. It's just in case I crash or have something go horribly wrong with the recording, I can go back. Uh, okay, anyway, here we are playing Civilization VI. We have completed... Uh, sort of winning back our territory from Macedon and Poland. And now we are setting up a sort of Cold War style standoff with him. I would maybe like to take Somber and whatever cities over here. Look for maybe some liberations if I could get them. That would be pretty cool. If I could get some liberates off. Uh, in here, I'd like to actually start getting some infrastructure. There's a few things I'd like. A bath here makes sense. Then you got your builder, so I'm going to chop here. Well, either way, I'm killing a hill. Seven turns on that bath. Down to one turn. We'll go do that. I got the granary in here. Let's get the monument, because I need that. Um, we completed the bath in here. Campus wouldn't be terrible. It would have been better. This would have been a plus three campus had I put it here. But also, the advantage is that there is this really cool, almost like a bridge tunnel. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. That's cool. Um, <laughs> should I go ahead and build a campus here? This is more of a frontline city. So I'm thinking more in terms of encampments here for the production and warfare capabilities. Let's have you just fortify here. Let's wake this guy up. Let's have you filter in behind. And you fortify there. I will go ahead and build a mine over there. I have this cavalry unit. Fortify there. I have another cavalry unit, preferably out on the flanks, would be good. And have you fortify there. So there are these islands. Um, getting across the open ocean will be a little bit tougher. We're gonna have to look and see if there's a crossing down here. And there may or may not be the crossing that we need here. We'll go to the next turn. Unit needs orders over here. You just fortify there. You keep exploring. There's Gotland. Little old Gotland. So, I did kind of look up a Ronan Empire map. I just brought it back up there on the other screen. So, we need to get, like, from Belgium, which is, like, in this area... All the way down to, like, southern Germany into, um, this area. Then we need to come back up and grab Hungary. Then loop back around and grab sort of Bulgaria. We'll leave this little place here open, but I might just fill stuff in. Um, and then we pretty much need to capture all of the... Um, Turkey landmass, and then we need to grab most of the coastline uh, for the rest of the world. So there might be just a couple of little cities here and there um, in this deserted terrain. But yeah, I think we're we're off to a good start to recreating the Roman Empire, which is a lot of fun in my opinion. I'm gonna start making settlers to settle over here. We completed the bath here. We could go for another district. The theater square wouldn't be terrible. The entertainment complex wouldn't be awful either. Let's go ahead and grab the market. We completed the bath in here as well. I could start doing researches. Um, wouldn't be terrible to do so. I think I'll start producing some traders throughout my empire. We got the bath over here. Let's get to work on the water mill to keep producing. We got the bath over here as well. 
a harbour right there would be very, very nice, I'm thinking. Um, otherwise, I might like get a theatre square or a campus in here. In terms of culture, I'm actually in a pretty good shape. So I think I don't really need to do anything like that. I'll just grab traders for now. We do have two envoys, so I could get Preslav under my wing as well. And Preslav is... I can't remember where they are, but... I think they're over here. Yeah, they're called like Plodiv or something, right? Um, I have Granada under my wing as much as I need it. Hmm. I think I'd like the extra gold in my market buildings because I think that would net me a lot more gold. Yeah, like 25 extra gold so far. Chop there. There's another builder. We get another builder in here. We will continue to develop my builder side of things in here. Okay. I don't want to take city shots, so I'm going to have my guys stepped out just one tile from the enemy city. I'm going to have my archers basically right behind them. Get you moving this way, you're on the flank. Moving up this way, you wait there. Pull you in a little bit. I want to pull you back next turn. So it looks like there is a way to get down to here. I'm going to settle Sicily as well. Uh, let's keep exploring past Gotland. We'll go to the next turn. We'll have a look around how things are going. So I think we're off to a good start, I think. Um, France is going to have to be killed at some point. It's all a matter of timings and... I think I'd like to get these cities settled, because that'll provide me more benefits, I think. I have a pretty big army. It's not quite big enough to fight Alexander, but it's a very good standing army, and I'd like to get it upgraded before I really go to war. Let's get some mines in this city, uh, in the hopes of producing some extra stuff. I would also really like to get apprenticeships, and I think I'm going to prioritize that first, just because of the sheer number of mines I have in my empire. The extra production is going to be absolutely huge for me. Um, let's move you this way, move you this way, move you this way, move you this way, get you to here. So I basically used you to fill in a gap. We'll have you sitting at the back just behind, and you'll be sitting here just behind as well. Okay, this is our wall of, of, of meat and legions and archers. We'll put a mine there, that seems good to me. We'll farm there, or we'll fortify there is what I meant to say, not farm. I'll finish the bath. Then I'll pick up the commercial hub here. Remember, the gold and the trade routes are key here for getting really, really good um, cities up and running and just generally having a strong empire. I always find it silly, the way the uh, aqueducts do this sort of thing. Loop. <laughs> it just always seems silly to me. Okay, so we have a settler. Let's send the settler over here. I think I'm going to settle this guy here. On the hill or off the hill? On the hill has advantages, so does off the hill. Let's do off the hill so we have maximum amount of production tiles. Why don't you make me another one of those? We've completed a bath in here. Do I want to build a water mill? 
I think I'd like to get the harbor. And the market first, ideally, actually. We completed the bath in here. This is another city that I'd like to get the harbor. Put it right there. But let's get started on the market first. I'm going to get those markets up and running as fast as possible. Let's go and prove that. Let's get farms down here. I want a farm triangle for this city to help it grow. Let's get you moving this way. You fortify there. Um, I guess we'll go chop here to help the city continue. We'll fortify there. Fortify there. You're going to build that mine right there. Very nice. Then you're going to keep exploring the city. I could probably get a city here. And a city like maybe on these oranges or something. One, two, three. Yeah. If I could fit two cities over here. I could settle these oranges on these oranges. And then uh, we'll be in good shape to continue. I think I accidentally just turned off resource icons. I'm not sure what button that is, but sometimes I do it by accident. I'll be just clicking stuff and I'll accidentally turn off resource icons. And I'm not sure how I'm doing it, but I am doing it pretty consistently. Yeah, we definitely need... We definitely need saves for Morocco. Um, I might look on the workshop and see if I could find some modded saves to fill in some of the gaps. Like, I feel like there should be a Portugal. I feel like there should be a Morocco. I feel like there should be... Um, a turkey, so I might look and see if there's any TSL um, compatible mods out there. Okay, things are coming along well. The city now has great production lines. It'll get even more when we get workshop. Let's go here and then shop to finish that. We'll pick up the market. We will go here. Let's see. Mines would be like the ideal thing to get in here again. I'm going to have you explore this way. There are some tribal villages down there. Let's head up this way and see if we can get a little bit more knowledge about Norway. Looks like he's sending warriors my way. Which is... More nuisance than a problem. In terms of settling in this area, thinking of settling right here on this grassland hill. Um, then I want to settle two cities down here. I need units down here. To defend my units as they land to settle. So I need to figure that out. I might actually get this with this encampment project. I might actually get that great general. Alright, you completed the bath. Let's pick up a... There's a plus two commercial hub there. There's also a plus three holy site. Plus three holy site appeals to me. Encampment also appeals to me, however. Just keep getting that production up. This is going to be like a heavily militarized area. Okay, I have a builder now. Let's get you sent this way to help out developing this other city. Farm triangle. So another city should grow much quicker with all that food. Let's chop here. That'll finish that. Let's grab ourselves a granary, a watermill, and a barracks. So this will take... A decent amount of time for this city, but it will result in good stuff for that city. Put another mine there. Let's just put you on auto explore. You can do your job. 
Fortunately, I could settle Turkey. It's a little bit far and a little bit dangerous of a trek. I'd have to go through Macedonian territory, which is a bit of a problem. The delegation is most welcome. So I could trade with Roma, get plus four production in here. I think I'm going to put this in Chetasium, see if I can get that city to develop a little bit quicker for me. I have a trader in here now. I would like to get the harbor here. Um, I might... Hmm. Let's get another trader. Need to fill those out. Uh, let's see, you were heading there, you were heading across here. You were going where? Right there. And you were going right there. Okay, let's go this way. We'll go to the next turn. Need more of these traders. Uh, my gold income, I'm um, currently my science and culture income are pretty good. They're not where they need to be to stay up with the AI, but they're about acceptable for now. I will want more campuses eventually, and I'll also want to unlock more buildings for them. But for now, my science is... Oh dear, hello. I didn't see this. Let's get these guys in position to help you go there. We'll go ahead and build a mine here too, and then we'll go ahead and build a mine here too. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of mines. So I'm going to send this over to this city. And you're going to trade with Rome because I want you to produce more and more. Let's get this great general. Let's not build this. Let's instead get some. Uh, I need units to help clear this out. And I'm thinking a few legions will do the trick down here. I'm going to have you guard this passage. You need to come back and help fight this quadrireme. Go this way. Hello, Norwegian longship. We need a Sweden sieve, we need a Norwegian sieve, we need a Finland sieve, we need a Denmark sieve. We just need more sieves. That's what we need. We need more sieves. So there can be a lot more fighting going on and conquering and liberating and all that fun. And I can play around with things, you know? Spain, seriously, why haven't you settled over here? Really? Like, what are you doing in your cities? I really, I'm really curious. Like, what is Spain doing that's better than settling? Okay, you need to back up. He's gonna shoot you, you're gonna attack, you're gonna come up and help. Let's see. Again, encampments over here really appeal to me. For the production. For the production and the ability to turn it into units to conquer this way. Because a lot of my conquering is going to have to be directed in this way. I might leave Bucharest and Plodiv as independent states. Definitely need more of these. Let's put another mine there. That'll give the city even more production. Put a mine here. More production for you. Another mine here. Uh... A little bit, a little bit, a little bit of production and gold. Looks like a lot of my roads don't go through the same cities, which is kind of sad. Looks like that some of my cities are just like one off where they need to be. Like this city, if it was settled here, it would have been fine. But because it's settled one down, same with this city, because it's settled here and not here, you know. Um, I'll take the two and two. Two is across the board. I'm going to have you just wait here until I need to deploy you. We're going to settle right here. We'll get a mine up. We'll go straight for the granary. You have settled over here. Now I want to settle on these oranges and these oranges. So I'll go to these ones first. 
You're going to continue to explore to the west. We'll go to the next turn. Staff Armory is an option here. Really do want to get that as soon as I can. Um, it does require an, an armory though. So we took a hit here as I expected. We're going to throw our ships at this until we kill it. We got a settler here. Send you to this orange. Um, I would like to keep settling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of cavalry to, to push. To, uh, you know, scout out here and secure this. Let's get these um, warriors down this direction. I want to have this filled with warriors. This filled with archers. Let's make sure these guys are fortified. To provide defense. But you get yourself another archer. The idea is if I have three legions here and then three archers on this, um, I'll have pretty hard to kill line of units because I'll have the garrison promotion on these archers, I hope. Which will make them stronger. They can become other stuff too. Let's wake this guy up. We'll trade with Rome again. That's fair. That's reasonable. Um, let's go there. Drop more mines. You go there. Drop another mine. You're waiting there. We will drop a mine here. That'll give this city the ability to build quicker. Okay, we'll keep moving here. We need one more error score. Might, might struggle to get it, actually. Well, maybe this will help. Irene of Athens. Plus one governor title. I would have valued that much higher when the expansion first came out. But you really can make do with, like, less governor titles than they actually give you naturally. So extra ones don't really matter. Only like the only governor titles that really matter are like the first few that you get, in my opinion. So we'll get this kill here. You're gonna retreat. Let's bring this guy over to help. You are going to build that. Also. I just want this place filled with encampments, so it's impossible to attack. Let's get a little bit of food growth. Um, I think... We definitely want a harbor here. Then possibly an industrial zone. You're here, okay. Um, you're going there. Let's promote you. You're going there. You stay there, you build a mine on this tile, okay, and you go there, good stuff, exploring is happening. Could I get an alliance with people now? Do I have that unlocked? Is it civil service that I need? I might pick this up so I can get an alliance going with somebody. Who would I ally at this point in the game? Um, maybe Germany. Send someone up. I might send my horsemen up here to go explore Germany's territory so that I can trade with more of the cities. Because Germany's the person I need to go to war with the least. So let's head up here. Let's grab civil service. Let's get open borders with Germany. And just for the hell of it, we might even see if he wants to trade anything else as well. Open borders, open borders. You'll give me gold per turn. Do you want any wine? Do you want any marble? Um, do you want to give me foxes? Alright, deal. So that is a relatively good relationship here. We got our market. Um, a theater square would be nice to help the borders grow. I think... We could also use a campus to go beside here. So I think I will pick up a campus here. And a library. And we'll kind of let things play out. 
We got the staples in here in Brundisium. The compass would be nice too. Let's grab that compass. We have an envoy. We have one envoy. Can we secure a relationship with anybody? I think I'm just going to trade with Mombasa. Eventually I would like to have lighthouses um, improved. We're going to get you to wait there. You're coming this way. You're coming back this way. You're coming back this way. You're settling in place. Yep. Nice. Apparently this is Britannia. What? Interesting. Okay. This is Britannia. This is South Africa. You're definitely wrong on that front game. This is Gondwana. This is Ur. Ur is really big on this map. And then there's Mesoamerica. Not so sure about that one. Let's get this improved. Um, we will go Granary. Unit needs orders over here. Let's trade with Rome. Since it's the most efficient place to trade with. On a per trader basis. You're going to go here. You're going to go here. You're going to loop in here. You're going to move this way. You're going to move this way. You're going to sit in reserve. Okay, so now I think this is a pretty hard to beat uh, defensive line. We have basically a a line of units that are hard to touch all sitting on districts all ready for combat bonuses um tough cookie to crack i hope we have secured ourselves a golden age as well that's something worth keeping in mind you know that might affect how we play in the next era and the next era isn't too far away we're just barely getting into the medieval era which has made this pacing feel really nice to me I feel like there's actually a lot of gameplay happening, you know? You've probably never seen anybody with an army this big in the uh, classical era. Recruit one envoy. Well, the next one is literally just a better version of that. Um, we completed a trader. Why don't you trade with Rome? Then... Why don't you get a campus? I do need more campus um, districts. You're going to fortify there. Just get all these guys to fortify to build up that defensive bonus. You're going to go here and build a mine there. You're going to go ahead and improve that. Is that a forest? And copper? Am I, am I crazy? I'm going, to be, I'm going to be chopping that forest for sure. Let's go here. We get 200 gold and an envoy. I definitely want to start getting friends with this guy. Even though they're all the way over here. Um, having friends with them will give me a lot of science. You come here, you come here. That was a nice move there. We'll chop to finish that. Let's grab the harbor, the plus three harbor, which will provide us with a lot of food. Keep an eye here. You wait there. Let's go explore German clay, shall we? I really feel like this kind of map gives Civ a really grand feel to it. You know, we just slow the game down, you take a lot of turns. You don't get very far, very fast. It just, I feel like it just adds this. Like, sure, maybe it does make the game easier. A couple of people have said that to me, that, you know, I'm able to settle so many cities that it doesn't matter. But you can see, I, I probably couldn't take these cities easily, you know? Like, this would be a tough attack for me, because I don't even have catapults or, 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 or um, battering rams to take down those cities. Because I'm choosing to play 
in a less DD optimal way. I'm playing more fun and role play. Like I'm building bats and aqueducts and I think I think just having the game dialed back a very small amount lets us lets us just have more fun, I think. Um but that's just my opinion, you know, not you don't have to agree with me. I'll put a plantation here. I will improve this. This builder. Let's see, you're fully improved. Let's get this tile improved too. Then you're going to just keep making builders because it's the most efficient thing that you can build with your production. I got my first um, assault legion for Carthage. Let's get another legion for Carthage, I think. There you go. Then I finished the market up here. Let's get the water mill because there's a little bit of production and food on that. Let's get the harbor. Let's get the equites on the move. I have no idea how to say those, by the way. I know there's equites, and I just assume that this is equites. You're going to wait there to see if another quadri ream spawns. We're going to go ahead and grab a mine there. You're exploring German clay. Good job. Good job, yeah. Good acton. Good attention. Alright. The market, the equis, the campus, the harbor, and the encampment. Yeah. It's very good. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Thank you. Alrighty then. We have delightful little settlers getting ready to go into position. That's the first one. Let's get you to there. And I finished my archer in here, so now I'm feeling very well defended. Let's get you into this reserve tile. Fortify all these guys. I would actually feel even happier if I had a couple of quadrireams on the coast to provide fire support. So let's get a couple of those to provide uh, coastal fire support as a defensive line. See, this is this is another advantage of this sort of um, lower pressure type of game mode where I'm not, I don't feel like I'm racing against the clock. I feel like I, because I have such a huge advantage, I can take my time and just do things that are more fun and, and not have to rush down particular paths and do things in the right order and worry about all that sort of stuff. I can just kind of like, you know, kind of ramble about. I'm, I can... I can build a massive army to defend my western flank. I can build a massive army to defend my eastern flank. And all the while I'm developing infrastructure and doing all this sort of stuff. Like if we were... If we were in a normal game, it would be like... You know, industrial era already. But we're just heading into medieval. Which kind of excites me. It makes it more fun for me. I'm enjoying it. I'm liking it. I'm having fun. You heal up there, we'll go to the next turn. Alright, so how long until these campuses finish? Not too long. That'll get me that little bit of extra science that I'm looking for to stay competitive. Because I did take a big break from getting science to do some other stuff. Um, that has lowered my competitiveness when it comes to science, which is obviously a mistake. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't let myself become uncompetitive in particular researches. Just because I'm doing infrastructure. But the hope is that I build enough infrastructure that we can just steamroll people later. Are you kidding me? Are you actually jokerizing me right now? Let's get a barracks. Let's go ahead and build another barracks over here. We'll chop that. I'll finish that. We will go ahead and get... Uh, I could get the entertainment complex, which I think this city definitely needs because we're having amenity troubles already. Let's get the mine for production. You wait there. You go here. You go there. Settle right there. Syracuse. Let's get the bath immediately. You get over here so that you can help this city um, chop its bath out. 
I guess. No, never mind. I won't do that. Keep going over here. Get this exploration in. Very nice. I'm gonna set you to... Oh, you're too close to a type of village to auto-explore. That hurts. But you did find out some really useful information about where people are positioned. Now I wanted to go explore England and uh, Scotland and find out more about these guys. Sure, I'll take that deal from you, Alexander. I'll take a little bit of your gold. All gold is welcome. This has to be the most annoying scout in the history of scouts. I don't know if this uh, Aquarius is going to be in range to stop him from being super annoying. Oh, he is. He most certainly is. We finished another one of these guys. Let's get them down this way. Uh, let's finally grab the lighthouse in here. Trade with Rome. You wait there. You keep moving. Wait there. May as well chop out this. Is that a hill? It is. Okay, these are all going to be deleted. I'll send you over here. We'll build a mine there. So that's this city more or less built up to where it needs to be. You can head down to help Pisa now. I may as well keep this pasture, because it's actually a decent little tile. It'll help that city. We'll keep looping around, finding out more information. Very cool. So we know a lot more about Germany now. You head down here and pick up from where you left off exploring-wise. Yeah, not much has happened in this episode, in my opinion. But it's a, it's a lot of setting up for future episodes, as far as I can tell. Sure, I'll take that deal from you. For example, I've built a campus, which is going to help push us scientifically ahead. We've built a bunch of baths, so our population should start skyrocketing. You can see we already have several cities um, up above 7 and even 10, maybe 9 uh, population, which is really, really great, considering the stage of the game that we're technically at. So now we can build industrial zones, and that will be something that we do, because we have some industrial zones planned. Uh, for he here, for example, the city is basically going to be a shipyard. It's, it's like it's all it's going to do. It's just going to build ships. With like not amazing production, but it's going to build ships for me, and I will use those ships to do other things. Uh, another thing I like about having a lot of cities is sometimes I feel like there's too many things for each city to do. Whereas in a thing like this map kind of size, I can actually kind of specialize my cities a little bit. Like this city here, it's just going to make ships. This city here, it's probably going to do something similar. Like I might just put like a commercial hub and an industrial zone there. Or I might just go industrial hub encampment and turn this into like a miniature fortress that produces ships. Like I mean I can do these sort of role play things even though I'm still on Deity which is the hardest mode in the game I can kind of I can kind of do a little bit of roleplay, you know, and I think I think that really adds to the game. Okay, we'll get that library and we'll call that the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support the channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.